And welcome to the Collins Moylan Arena in a frigid Greenfield, Massachusetts. Tonight, the Belchertown Orioles come to town to take on our Greenfield Green Wave. We're going to do our best to recap these goals tonight. It was a relatively quiet first period. No penalties and just one goal. At 11 minutes, 10 seconds, Trevor Kuchewski got the Green Wave on the board. RJ Grande got the puck down behind the Belchertown net. Shane Prusak got it out. TK deposited it from the doorstep. Gave Green Wave a 1-0 lead. And that's the way the teams went off the ice after one period of play. Green Wave put four goals on the board in the second period. As I said, they came fast and furious. First one at 2.23, Shane Prusak, who was our first period intermission guest, scored his ninth of the season. Nice feed from Jason Smith on that one. Brody Gagne got the play started, found Jason. Smith put the puck right on Prusak's stick. It was a power play goal. Green Wave were up 2-0, and as things turned out, that's all they needed. However, there was more to come at 4.35. Matt Garvin took a beautiful feed from Jake Jurek. Nice to see a couple of freshmen producing the way they do. Sammy Knight also got a helper on that one. Beautiful deke by Garvin. Put the green wave on top, 3-0. After Belchertown took a hooking penalty, Kevin Bauman scored a power play goal. Put the green wave up top four to nothing. Now on that one, you can see Matt Lavoine. Beautiful pass over to Kevin. Kevin just held it, picked his spot, deposited it, had it all day long, four nothing green wave. James Delaney got the Orioles on the board at 840. Picked up a loose puck, intercepted near his own blue or near the uh, green wave blue line. Gave himself a pass, cut in, just went top shelf on Josh Bordeaux. Green Wave still led 4-1. to one. At 9.21 of the second period, Sammy Knight scored on a great pass from Jake Jurek. That was Jurek's second assist of the night. Knight with his 11th goal of the season. Put the Green Wave on top, 5-1. to one. Start of the third period, a little bit of a skirmish down by the Green Wave goaltender. Saw players from both teams go to the penalty box. And just as the penalty to Shane Prusak that he incurred at the end of the second period elapsed, at 2.06 of the third period, Trevor Kuchewski got his second goal of the night. That's his 12th on the campaign. Put the Green Wave up 6-1. And as we said just a moment ago, Jameson Bellino, one of our fourth line unsung heroes, scored a beautiful goal for his first varsity goal. Gained the zone. Deke to Belchertown defender. And that puts a bow on it. Seven to one, convincing win by the Green Wave. They were talking that uh, this could have been the battle for the right division championship. Green Wave came into this one undefeated in right division play, 7-0-1. Make that 8-0-1 now. Belchertown, with those six games in eight days, they were also undefeated in right division play. They came in at 3-0-1. Well, now they're going to have an L in that mix. 3-1-1 currently in the right division. I am the Green Wave skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux. Until next time, good night from Greenfield. <laughs>